Hi, I'm Maurice and today I want to explain how I will be building a digital product from scratch. The first thing to do is to make a plan. I personally use the business model canvas. It's a visual tool that outlines the nine building blocks of a successful business model. These building blocks include, but are not limited to, customer segments like who are your customers and what are their needs, your value proposition, what unique value does your product offer to your customers, what channels you will reach and interact with your customers, and what will be the cost structure of your business. So what will it cost to bring your product up to market and operate it once it's on the market? By filling out the business model canvas, you can clearly understand the key components of your business and identify potential risks and opportunities. This helps you to make informed decision about how to build and grow your digital product and communicate your business model effectively to others. I've personally found it very useful to fill out the business model canvas. I've put down a link to the business model canvas in the description below. Next one up is the user experience. Put yourself in the shoes of the user and see your product through their eyes. They will have a much more rational approach to your product than you and probably they won't be as excited. The user is your ultimate teacher. How he or she uses your product will determine the value of your product to them. In my eyes, ease of use is key here. People often confuse bringing value with implementing a multiplicity of features into a digital product to increase value. If those features are really used and deliver value, that's fine. And that's a big question. If they are not, those features don't have to be developed in the first place and might even harm user experiences, like in those many overloaded applications we use day to day, which started out as simple tools and got bloated later on. Think WinZip. Help the user to get as much value out of your idea as possible to make your product easy and fun to use. Although it might not seem like it, I strongly feel that getting the product right and explore several ways of maximizing usefulness and ease of use should get the most attention when developing my digital product. The third point is software development. Since I work in IT consulting and to software development myself, people most frequently ask if I will actually code the digital product myself. A very reasonable question. Keep in mind that software development is probably the most time consuming task and I have also several clients I do IT consulting and coding for. So it will take me a very long time until I will have a working prototype if I would do the coding myself. To sum it up, I've decided to outsource software development. So for now, I will not be focusing too much on that. Another focus will be marketing. Many digital products like apps or websites have been developed and nobody knows or cares. Many people focus on development but not on marketing, which is a huge mistake when developing new products. How do I know? I've done this mistake a couple of times myself in the past. People have to first get to know your product in order to be able to use it and get value from it. So you have to let people know that your product actually exists and what it can do for them and their lives. That is actually one reason for my YouTube videos. By the way, if you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. As a technical person, it hurts, but marketing might be the most important task when building something new. Again, if nobody knows or cares, nobody can use your product and get value from it in the first place. So you have to make sure people get to know about your product by ads online, finding it with the help of a search engine, by referral through fans, or by watching a video about it on YouTube. Next, you need to plan what will be part of the minimal viable product or MVP for short. What needs to be done in order to deliver a useful product with the least amount of work possible. Also further potential for the idea should become clear when people use your MVP. Very often less is more here and you really have to focus on truly necessary features. You will learn more about my product's MVP in the next video. So to recap, I'm gonna be focusing on product design, user experiences and marketing, and I will outsource software development for my digital product. In the next episode, I will uncover the idea for my digital product, so stay tuned to learn what I'm up to. 
If you're curious about my first digital product and want to stay tuned to the journey, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section below if you would approach the development of a digital product differently. Thanks for watching.